Okay, so my name is Zachary Green, and this is my final creative art project. So this is an overview. So the piece that I chose to make was a painting of the lake near where I live on campus, and I come to this lake almost every day, and it's a place that's really relaxing for me. I go there to find, I go there, to, I go there to listen to music and fish, and most of the time I've been going there for the whole semester, and I really enjoy the beauty there. From the birds to the lake and the sunsets, everything is really pretty, and that's why I chose this environment for my, for my project. And as you can see on the right, there's a picture of me and the fish and my fishing rod. That's where I go fish. That's the lake. So I knew that I wanted to paint this scenery for my project, but I had to decide on how I can make it unique and relate to an artist. And Van Gogh has always been one of my favorite artists, and I love the style he uses throughout all his work. One of his most famous paintings, Starry Night, is my favorite, and I like the color and style he uses throughout that painting. So Starry Night is an oil painting, and I always enjoy how they come out, so I decided to paint the late to paint the lake scenery in the style of Starry Night. Although I did not have oil paint, I used a mixed variety of tools. I used colored pencils and crayons and was able to make it look like an oil painting, kind of, because the crayons kind of melted as I was outside working. So here's some basic background on the artist. Vincent Van Gogh was an artist, and he was most known for his paintings from 1880 to 1890s. His pieces are very famous, and they're all over the world. And um, he's a Dutch, a Dutch Impressionist painter, and he is the most famous figure in the history of Western art today, as of today. And he has made over 2,100 pieces, and Starry Night is his most popular piece, and it's an oil painting that shows the view from a building over a city, and the painting is well worth over $100 million. So gathering materials slash steps for my, my painting or drawing. So for the drawing, I decided I wanted to create the recreate the impressionism that Van Gogh uses. And in order to do so, I felt oil paint would have been the best tool to do so, but I couldn't seem to get my hands on oil paint, as I said before. So I had to use what was around me chose to use crayons and colored pencils. Also, I said that before, and that, and then I went to work. So I also I used a blending tool in order to blend some of the colors together, and I did this to make the water look a little better and you know just flow a little better. And once I had all my tools together, I brought the paper and tools with me when I went to go fish, and I would take a break here and there and add to the drawing. And I really enjoyed this piece because the setting that I'm in is really stress leaving for me, and yeah. So inspiration in my piece, on the left you can see a starry night, if most of you have seen the piece before, it's very pretty. And on the right is my piece. I didn't see the name yet, but as you can see they look a lot alike. I use the same kind of sky, the, the way the trees are, you know, and the colors and how they blend together. So techniques used. Throughout the project there are a lot of techniques and things I need to figure out. First I feel the medium was the most important. I decided to do it on thick paper out of an art book. I wanted to use a canvas, but I didn't have the paint available and I felt this was better. So in starting at the technique that was used was impasto, and I wasn't really able to use this technique because I didn't have paint to do so because it, it's really layering colors, but I used, tried to do it with crayons, and I guess it came out okay. So overall for my project, I feel the use of mixed, mixed media was really good, and I used different types of materials, and this allowed for the best outcome. Also, I feel like the color and texture came out good, and I was really able to capture the proper perspective of the area. And here's an example of mixed media on Stonehenge by Van Gogh, another painting by him. So some challenges. I feel like the main challenge I faced with this painting was the base of the drawing. I'm not best at painting something just by sight, and it took me some time to get the dimensions and the angles right for the bridge. But I was able to get away to get it the way I liked it for some time, and also find the time to get to the lake at sunset was kind of difficult. I go to the lake a lot, but getting there right, right on sunset to capture the image was kind of difficult. Social angles. I feel like the social angle that Starry Night takes is a nature approach. It's a painting of the sunrise from St. Remy de Provence and really captures the scenery and emotion that came with the view. I feel like this is the best social angle because it's of its nature. So with the piece I chose, it also fits in the nature social angle because it's of a lake and the main goal is to capture the beauty of the area. And here is um, an image of Van Gogh's, the Van Gogh walk where he painted Starry Night. Um, so appreciation, I really enjoy art as a whole. I've been drawing and sketching things for a while and it always seems to make me happy. I really appreciate the process of art and all the time it takes to really develop a good piece. Once you spend all that time on a piece and you finish it, it's so nice to see what the final product came out to be and I feel that this project impacted me in a made one major way. This being, it was a real stress reliever for me and I'm very stressed most of the time with school, anxiety, etc. and this helped me relieve some of it. So these are references, references used. These are the images of the lake that I use. It's right next to Juniper Papa building. As you can see, there's the bridge, you know, the, the lake, and yeah. So conclusion. In conclusion, this final project was really one of my favorites I've ever done for a class. I feel that it really gave me the ability to express myself through art, and there was a lot of flexibility with what we could choose, and I enjoyed that. Overall, I really enjoyed drawing and being able to recreate a painting, which I enjoy was really fun. So my overall experiences, some successes I had was 
some successes I had, I feel were came out the really nice way I wanted. The colors felt well together, and I really just enjoyed the things I chose. Um, problems are gathering tools, drawing the bridge and the piece, and failures. I had some failures with the colors in the drawing, and I also had to start over because I didn't like how it turned out a couple of times. And lesson learned, I feel like a good piece of art takes time, and sometimes a mistake can lead to something cool in your piece. And here's photo evidence. So there was when I started, then the middle one, and then there's me in the end. I didn't realize till after I paint, I drew it that you have to include your face in the pictures, but hopefully this will do. There's me with it in the end. And uh, that's it. Thank you.